Hi, I'm Sarah Watts. I live in Devizes uh, with my wife Leanne. I set up my travel business, not just travel Sarah Watts, uh, four years ago. And I share my home with Leanne and also our two cats, Marvel and Harley. I thought I'd just do a video um, introduction as well. Um, this year's International Women's Day. Um, I've been asked to sort of say what I choose to challenge and I choose to challenge in authenticity. I believe that it's really important to be authentic and be your authentic self. You never know who's watching you and the impact that you can have on them uh, from a distance very often. But I, that's what I'm choosing to challenge um, this year. And International Women's Day is important to me because I think that more than ever, um, whilst we've made great strides in equality and gender equality, the challenges that COVID have presented us all with over the last year or so, um, just prove how much more needs to be done. The balancing act around home and work life um, has been huge and, and the requirement for homeschooling has placed huge challenges and a disproportionate burden on women. Um, and this burden is just purely by the fact that, that people were born uh, the female gender. And in a society that's still biased towards men, I think there needs to be a reminder of the inequalities. Uh, to make sure that they continue to be addressed at a local, national and international level. And I think that all women who can have an obligation to help, nurture and mentor those that follow behind them. Um, and we need more positive role models and influencers and not just those that look, look good in, in photographs on Instagram. Um, and I think there still needs to be more, there's more we can do for gender equality. So I think that there needs to be a greater representation of women in all levels of public and private sector. Uh, I think the skills and values that women bring are widely recognised now as helping organisations and companies to increase profits, bring out the best in staff and, in, and other employees, um, as well as design amazing products and services that work for all of society and not just uh, a select few. Um, as a child, I wanted to be a police officer and I achieved this eventually at the grand old age of 34. And I served for eight years, a very privileged position. But before I left the service, I was lucky enough to study at Warwick Business School for a leadership and management qualification. And in my final year of that study, I wrote a dissertation called Why Female Police Officers Fail to Realise Their Full Potential. And this involved ex examining and interviewing female officers from within my own force and others uh, locally, uh, comparing my findings to previous studies that had been done in forces across the country. And what I was really disappointed to find was that there didn't really seem to be much difference between what I discovered and the findings of previous studies. And it's interesting that after uh, I left the service uh, less than a year after I wrote that paper, but uh, that's a story for a different day. And my advice to my younger self would be, uh, and to also strong independent girls who are, who are growing up now, is just go for it. Don't be afraid, don't overthink. And you will definitely regret the things you didn't do more than the things that you did do. Don't worry about what people think of you as there's nothing you can do about that. You can't control it, but be authentic. Be you. You are special and you are unique. And find your purpose and don't let anything stop you from achieving that. Be self-aware, learn great communication skills and build relationships with people. But be aware that people might find you intimidating. So you use humility and humour to find a way to help people relate to you and you will be absolutely fine. And then when you've done this, go for it. The only real limits that you can achieve are those that you put on yourself. And that would be my, my advice and, and I, I wish that somebody had given me some of that advice when I was younger. So I hope that, uh, hope that it helps you in some way.